What do you do if your baby only wants to eat food off of a spoon? I'm talking about those babies like they will not touch or pick up finger foods. Is there anything you can do? Yes, 100%. You can help your baby with finger foods and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Katie Ferraro, registered dietitian specializing in baby led weaning and mom of seven. And in this video, we're going to talk about the babies who only love holding and licking and eating off of a spoon. But if your baby's six months of age, and showing the other reliable signs of readiness to eat, then they should be experimenting more with finger foods. And here's how you can make that happen. So you might be surprised to hear a baby led weaning dietitian talking about spoon feeding, but it's not spoon feeding in the traditional sense. You can offer pureed foods like yogurt and oatmeal and still honor the self feeding principles of baby led weaning by using what's called the pre loaded spoon approach. The preloaded spoon approach was developed by Don Winkleman, a speech language pathologist and feeding therapist who also designs infant feeding products. Don is the product designer for the company Easy Peasy, and she designed their award winning tiny spoon, which I use exclusively for baby led weaning. Now this tiny spoon, it looks cute, but it has, it is cute, but it also has all sorts of developmental advantages over long handled spoons. So those long handled spoons, those are for parent led spoon feeding and they are not compatible with baby led weaning. The tiny spoon on the other hand has not surprisingly a tiny bowl. Okay. The bowl of the spoon is appropriately sized for the mouth of infants aged six to 12 months. The tiny spoon also has a short, fat, round handle that babies can grasp onto by themselves early on in order to promote self feeding. The tiny spoon also has these little tiny sensory bumps on the spoon that help the baby learn how far to push the spoon in their mouth so as not to overly gag themselves. Plus they're all made out of 100% food grade silicone, which is important as we want to minimize additives in foods and products that we feed our baby, especially like plastic in feeding gear. So I am an affiliate for easy peasy. I have a discount code. If you want to check out this tiny spoon for yourself, I'll link that up along with the discount code in the description of this video. The way to preload the spoon for baby led weaning is to put the food on the spoon, put the spoon in the baby's hand and then gently guide the baby's spoon to the mouth. Dawn teaches a hand under hand motion for use with this spoon. And your baby is going to get the hang of bringing that spoon to their mouth pretty quickly. Now you may kind of have to like jam the spoon into your baby's hand early on before they know what's going on, but they really, really quickly start to love the autonomy of feeding themselves even in the earliest days. So later on, your baby will learn to dip and scoop with that tiny spoon, but you really do want to start practicing with that preloaded spoon around six months of age. Now, what do you do for the baby who only wants to eat off of the pre loaded spoon? So I teach a method called purees for a few days, and this is my proprietary approach to baby led weaning. My suggestion is always to use the spoon in the first few days of baby led weaning so that your baby gets the idea that sitting in the high chair and trying new foods that all involves bringing things to their mouth. I caution against heavy use of the spoon after the first few days. Yes. Use the spoon for naturally period foods. You would as an adult use a spoon for, okay. I'm talking yogurt or unsweetened applesauce or whole grain porridges. But after a few days, you do not have to puree foods that you could otherwise offer to your baby in soft, solid strips about the size of your adult pinky finger. So when parents tell me, oh, my baby cries, if they don't get the spoon, we have to address removing the spoon from the eating environment. Okay. There are lots of foods that you can offer in finger food format safely, even to the earliest eaters at six months of age. In 2016, I created the hundred first foods approach to baby led weaning and almost all of the foods on my hundred first foods list can be offered safely in finger food format. If you want to grab a copy of my hundred first foods list, I give it away to everybody on the free one hour video training that I teach each week called baby led weaning for beginners. So you can sign up for this week's workshop times and grab your copy of that hundred first foods list by going to babyledweaning.co or clicking the link in this video description. As your baby gets more proficient at self feeding, you're going to notice that they also start to get frustrated with that little, small, tiny spoon. So I found that usually around 12 or 15 months of age, I see babies really wanting to eat more food at once than the tiny spoon can provide. And that's when it's time to size up to the next spoon. Okay. This is called the mini spoon. This is the spoon in the next sequence for babies 12 to 24 months that easy peasy makes. It's part of their mini utensil set. And again, this is for 12 to 24 month old babies. Okay. After that, 
if you want to stay kind of sizing up the easy peasy line, the next largest size they make is called the happy spoon. And this is for two years and beyond. So all of the easy peasy utensils are appropriately sized for your child's growing mouth and their developmental capabilities at each stage. I'm going to link all three sizes of utensils for six to 12 months, 12 to 24 months and 24 months and beyond. I'm going to put that along with my easy peasy affiliate discount code for you in the video description. So don't be shy about starting with the spoon, but be sure to be offering finger foods early and often so your baby doesn't get overly reliant on spoons.